welcome Jack to Between the Three Sessions. Nice for you to come along. Yeah. And uh, bring your lovely Land Rover. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Um, you work on the estate here, and um, you're also a wildlife filmmaker. And um, I wanted to ask you some questions today about your uh, experience of taking photos of wildlife in the area. Um, just tell us how the story of how you got into wildlife photography. So, I, well, I've grown up in a cottage in the countryside and I've been surrounded by wildlife my whole life. I had animals, pets, like everything, rescuing animals. My grandfather was really into his wildlife and just kind of taught me the basics of it. And I've just progressed from there, got my first camera and just been obsessed since. So. Oh, yeah. And you've got such an amazing environment here because you're right next to a, um, a national nature reserve, Merthyr Mawr National Nature Reserve. And... Um, there's woodland, there's sand dunes, there's rivers. So these woods, just to start with, what kind of animals are in here? Well, we have plenty of things in these woods here. We've got foxes, badgers will be passing through. We've got goshawk, um, buzzards, nesting buzzards. Um, we've got deer, we've got so, fallow deer. So here. people have talked about the deer. Yeah. And you said to me, you filmed deer. I've been here for six or seven weeks and I've never seen it. Yeah, well, it's, they're, they're not silly. They know that there's people down here. They, right. They'll be able to hear you. There's buildings here. They'll avoid this area. It's not, it's not no cover here. You know, it's all been like planed out. So they'll, they'll so, stick to the edges. So how many deer are actually here? Good question. We don't really know, but mm. the most I've seen is about 14 together. But I think there might be like a couple of groups so yeah. well well one day i might see them yeah <laughs> hopefully so you mentioned birds as well and I, i've seen lots of birds here I, i've watched tree creepers um i've seen lots of wrens and, and probably all, all the different various tits and other types of birds but i've noticed birds of prey flying about up there and i, and I kind of look at them and think what's that is that a buzzard or is that something else but you mentioned goshawks what other birds of prey around here so we've got Kestrel locally. I've filmed some of them down at Southern Down Beach, local beach. Mm. Um, we've got Hobby actually passing over the Ogmore Estuary, mm. which is cool. I've seen them a few times. Um, like you said, we've got Buzzard, Goshawk, um, Birds of Prey, like owls as well. Yeah. We've we'll barn owls, tawny owls, little owls. So there's plenty, yeah. plenty about. And then just thinking about birds, I just can't understand how you can film a bird because one minute you see it in one bit of space and, and then in a second it's somewhere else. How do you go about filming a bird? Well, the thing is, you, I don't just go out on a walk and, you know, see a passing bird. Like, I'll look with my binoculars and it's cool to see what they are, but if I was going out to film something, I, I need a story. I just don't, I don't just need a flight shot of a bird. I'd need a flight shot of a bird, a close-up of his head, okay. you know, make a story out of it, so... With photography, you could do it a bit more point, point and shoot, but yeah. with filming, it's a little bit different. So, so I was interested in talking about the rivers around there because there's, there's two rivers flowing down that side of, over to the um, the east side of the nature reserve, the Ogur and the Yueni, isn't it? Yeah. And I've heard that there's otters and kingfishers there, but again, never seen them. Yeah. Well. Well, for the kingfishers, you just got to learn their call, and you'll hear them up and down the well, river, yeah. and then you'll see them. Um, there's plenty of kingfishers. I know of two breeding sites along the river. Um, there's bound to be more. Mm. We've got, we have got otter. They go through phases of showing and not showing. One of the villagers was actually telling me that he'd seen them the other morning. Mm. So, so if you if you're going to film an otter, which to me is something that I, I think I might have seen one once, but I don't know if it was an otter or it was just my imagination. I and I've seen otter sprints which yeah. is the kind of their uh, feces, whatever, on rocks and things. Yeah. But as far as I've, as far as far I've, that's about as much of an otter I've seen. So if you were going to go and film an otter, how would you go about doing that? It's going to be a few early mornings and late nights, really. Right. So you want to get up when it's dark in the morning and you'd be going out and you'd be, you know, you'd find, like you said, the springs and you'd yeah. hang around those kind of areas. Or, you know, if you went to a, specific place that is known for having otters but yeah. like along here you just want to go for walks dusk and dawn and just kind of do it do it see if you see them 
if you do see them, then kind of wait out in those specific places. But how, how many days would you invest on filming an otter? Actually filming an otter is as much as I'm getting footage, but yeah. if I was going to look for otters and I, I wouldn't go thinking that I'm definitely going to see one. I'd just go yeah. for a nice walk. Right. You know, there's a lot of leg work in it yeah. without the camera. I wouldn't yeah. take the camera with me. Really? I would oh. just walk, go for a walk with mm. my binoculars and see see what's about. You can find something else. Right. So if you're a young person now or, or somebody my age and I was going to start a bit of wildlife photography, what advice would you give me? I'd get two pieces of kit. I'd get right. a bridge camera. What quite, is, what's quite a cheap. Bridge? So a very digital camera, electronic zoom, yeah. a basic kind of camera. I buy one of those and I get a trail cam. So okay. you can attach them to trees, leave them overnight. Yeah. They're relatively cheap. You can pick one up for like 40 quid. So I'd get one of those. Then you can see what's about. It, it's a bit of interest. You can see nocturnal activity and mm. just, you know, see what's around in your area yeah. and just go out and shoot. But I wouldn't, I would go for walks and look for just general things, but I'd go out with a purpose. I'm going to go shoot butterflies today mm. and try and better yourself, yeah. that kind of thing. Cool. Um, so you're obviously thinking of making a career out of this and, and uh, it can be quite a difficult competitive world out there. So yeah. what, how do you think your career is going to go? What, what, what kind of jobs have you had so far and what are you going to do in the future? So, well, as far as my career is going to go, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very wavy path, but I think that's what it's all about, really. Yeah. I've recently just worked on BBC Wild Wales, so yeah. I filmed some Little Owls for that, and that yeah. was really cool, so give that a watch if you're... Uh, Little Owls. Yeah. yeah, around after Christmas. But um, I think with my career path, i just got to keep filming, yeah. filming stories, not just filming random things and then send them off to contacts and try and make more contacts and yeah. just go from there. You've got to stand out. You've got to stand out. You've got to get, you've got to shoot something better than anyone else. Yeah. And it, have you got a passion for nature conservation as well? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So that's the alternative career, really. I could go into conservation yeah. management, that kind of thing. But I have a lot to learn, but it's something that I am really interested in, yeah. and you feel like you're doing your part, so that would yeah, be good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. No, that's great. I think if I had my time over, I think I'd do the same thing. Yeah. So I'm very envious of you, and I'm very envious of your Land Rover. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, Jack. No it's worries. It's really nice yeah. talking to you. And, See you um, again. Hopefully, uh, I go on a walk with you one day, and you can show me some otters and some deer. Yeah, I could easily, I'd, yeah, uh, could easily I'd get appreciate those. that. Thanks a lot. No worries. Cheers. Right. Cheers, Andrew.